Florida Maki, don't you think you're kind of overblowing this whole battlefield of the mind thing? I mean, we know your background is in psychological operations in the military, but don't you think there are more important things out there to be focused on? No. Absolutely not. You see, if they can control your mind, they can control everything about you and what you do. And the problem we're running into right now in North America is there are a lot of people who are having their minds controlled who don't know they're having their minds controlled. You've got two groups of people now staring at each other, calling each other sheep, the left, the right because of Trump, the right, the left because of Biden, when they don't realize that they're both being herded. Now, I'm going to share something in today's video for a lot of my audience who is on the right. It's going to blow your mind. It's going to absolutely make you go, wait a minute, how did we not see this? They've been talking about it, but we didn't realize what was going on. If you'd like to join us over at the Florida Maki Patreon channel where we focus on this, we'd love to have you over there. It's only a dollar. It's only one U.S. dollar per month. That's it. Even less if you sign up for an entire year and fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. Would love to have you partnering with Vimeo. We take the gloves off. There's information over there that's bothered some folks, but it's also woken up a lot of folks. Now, let's get right to it. Let's not pull any punches. If this was 2021 and there were articles all over the media about this new fantastic injectable drug that you're more than likely going to have to take if you want to keep a job, there would be protests and there would be media people all over the place throwing a fit and people marching. <clears throat> Who remembers these pictures? Who remembers them? No jab or job. Stop medical tyranny. No forced vax. Well, guess what? Right now, there's a drug out there they're calling a miracle drug that people are willingly buying for massive amounts of money and injecting themselves. Willingly. Both on the right and on the left. Why? Because it feeds into their sense of vanity. You see, they figured it out. They figured out how to get people to buy things, spend tons of money on it, make Big Pharma super rich, and get them to do it themselves. How many of you have seen all of these advertisements, whether it's Zepbaum, Manjaro, Wagovi, Ozempic, all this? Mark my words, this is going to be a disaster. Why? Because all it is is a number. Weight is just a number. It is not a measure of health. And it never has been. And they know this. But they don't care. Because they know they can market this and make a bunch of money. And there is nobody, virtually nobody. There are a few channels out there. The, the ones that uh, really focus on what health is truly all about. And they're trying to sound the alarm, but they're getting shut down. And I'm sure this video is probably going to be shadow banned, perhaps even demonetized, because of the truth about this. All these drugs will do is give you another excuse to lay on your ass and do nothing. Florida Marquis, I can't believe you just said that. Hey, that's exactly what it is. There are people out there that would rather go work and earn money and then take that money that they worked earning and then hand it over to a drug company so that they can just sit in front of a computer, inject it into their stomach, and sit there and, and surf without actually having to go to the gym. Yay! Yay, I'm in a smaller shirt. Yay, I'm in smaller jeans. I'm just a smaller, flabbier version of myself than I used to be, but... What do we know? It's all about the image, isn't it? <coughs> I think there's a Bible verse about the image of the beast. Maybe somebody can help me with that. And this is like a Florida monkey. Nobody's going to lose their job. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Once insurance gets a hold of this, here's what's going to happen. Four minutes and 56 seconds in, you can say you heard it here first. 
what they're going to do is they're going to say, look, you have XYZ employees where you work that are ABC overweight. We're going to give you this, and in order to reduce the overall risk of insuring your business, you're going to have to make those employees who are so many pounds overweight take this, or you'll have to let them go. It's just that simple. They have to take this, or they are going to present too great a risk for the insurance. And you're going to have to focus on people who are, well, not as big. Let's put it that way. And if they want to keep their jobs, they want to keep their jobs, they're going to have to go on a weight routine. Now, here's the part that nobody's putting together. You see, the reason... Game-changing study finds weight loss jabs cut risk of heart attack and stroke. There's a direct correlation between body weight and longevity. You don't see very many super overweight 90-year-olds, do you? <coughs> of course not. So what are they going to do? To save Social Security, they're going to raise the retirement age. They're going to raise it up to 70, 72, 73 why? Because of this. You see, finding these charts is almost impossible. Americans living longer. Of average number of years living beyond 65. By 2040. Well, we'll say by 2030, which is halfway here. It's showing women about 23 years, so about 88. And men about, about 80. I don't know if that's in incredibly accurate, but... Generally speaking, the idea that men and women are living longer beyond 65 and that being a reason that Social Security is going broke is going to be addressed this way. This is their sneaky backdoor way around it. And I'm sure there's a lot of folks out there saying, <clears throat> Florida, Maki, weight is not just a number. It sure is. Weight is just a number. How much? Here's a, here's a great question. In this picture... You've got um, Andre the Giant, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Wilt Chamberlain. Now, Wilt Chamberlain, Andre, they're both seven feet tall. Andre was over 500 pounds. How much do you think Arnold Schwarzenegger weighs in these two pictures? You ready for this? He's six foot two and 235 pounds. Now, most of you say, no, 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 wait a minute. There's no way. He's way heavier than 235. No, he's not. He's just put together. He's just very, very lean, very ripped. He's only 235 pounds. Now, here is also six foot two and 235 pounds. That's right. This guy here is also six foot two and 235 pounds. Does he look anything like Schwarzenegger? No. In fact, here's this guy's journey from April of 19 to February, about a 10-month journey where he loses 17 pounds. That's 1.7 a month. That's, that's not very much, but he looks a ton better, doesn't he? 1.7 pounds a month is not really a major weight loss program. There's a lot of folks out there that can very easily lose 1.7 pounds a week, which would put you in the 60, 80, 70, 80 pounds a year. This guy spent 10 months losing 17 pounds, but he looks a ton better. Here's also 6'2", 235 versus 6'2", 205. Now, this guy lost 30 pounds. 30 pounds, but looking at him from a distance... I mean, if you knew the guy and you were around him, you'd probably see some difference. But most folks, it'd just be a number. And this one is my favorite. This one is my favorite. People look at the change, but they don't look at the year. They see, they see the weight, 315 to 265 to 180. But they don't look that this took place over almost four years. 2015, 16, 17, and 18. And the guy lost a grand total of 135 pounds over, 
you know, let's just say it was he's you know it was only the three years, fifteen to sixteen, sixteen to seventeen, seventeen to eighteen. Let's say it was just the three. It was probably more than that. Let's say it was just three years. That's about forty pounds a year. Forty pounds in twelve months. That's about three pounds per month. Three pounds a month. That is what? Three quarters of a pound a week? There's a lot of folks out there just doing normal diet and exercise. If they were only losing three quarters of a pound a week, they'd quit. But look at the difference. This is the guy from The Biggest Loser. Now, this, this is an issue of what is a very young man becoming a full-grown man and, and doing an entire lifestyle change. But this has nothing to do with any of those injectable drugs. This is what you're going to see with these injectable drugs. People are going to lose the weight. Sorry for the graphic picture. Now, I've shared this fella on my channel before. It's been a while. But I'm going to share it again. I get a lot of folks, oh, I'm this old, I'm that old. I can't do this, I can't do that. Can't do the other. This guy's well over a decade older than me. And he's in way better shape than I am. And he doesn't spend his entire day working out. You just make better choices at the grocery store. And you put, I'm sure there's so, probably some things here he'd probably say, uh, maybe not, might be too much sugar. But this is going to be what sneaks up on Americans. You see, don't you find it strange that they have made fast food virtually unaffordable, virtually unaffordable. What is it, 85% of Americans now see it as a luxury? <coughs> it's a luxury because of how, how much it costs. I don't think that was an accident. I don't think what happened with fast food is an accident. They're trying to shut the entire industry down. Get people away from that. And then once they start forcing people to trim down, they're going to change the rules for work and for retirement. Now, this is a far right picture of me when I was attempting to imitate Zach McGowan's workout. How many of you watched Black Sales? We talked about that show for a long time when we were talking about the whole cryptocurrency thing. Zach McGowan's only 10 years younger than me. Zach McGowan's in his mid-40s. And if you don't think that age is just a number, see if I can find the picture here. 175 pounds. No way. Look at all that muscle. 175 pounds. The vast majority of his workout during the shooting of black sales was all um, calisthenics, meaning no weights, meaning running long distances and pull-ups and push-ups and all sorts of different body weight exercises that didn't require a gym. And I guarantee he took no injectable this, that, or the other. Now, <clears throat> one last thing. Here's the workout, Captain Jack, Zach McGowan's Black Sales Workout. Um, I'll give you the link to this. It's on muscleandfitness.com. Not hard to find, I'm sure. If you just look it up, Zach McGowan, Muscle and Fitness. But Tim Bassett, and you'll find him at, um, if you go to the Florida Maki channel here, and you go down to uh, Suggested Channels, you'll find his channel, and he's got 459 subs, 52 videos. Um, talks about a lot of great things, but uh, probably the best thing that he has is a uh, um, is all day pain free energy nutrient mix that he that he carries. Um, eats a lot of eggs. Um, he talks about quote unquote secret formula. The secret formula is just making it a priority in your life and and changing your activity level and changing what you put in your body for fuel. It's not a complicated thing. It really is not to fix this problem. But even with as uncomplicated as it is, it's still too much effort for too many people that they would rather 
go pay a thousand bucks to have these little needles sent to them so they can self-inject themselves so that they can sit on their butt and do nothing. And I'm going to leave on something here that is going to probably be a little bit complicated to explain, but it has to do with something called homeostasis. <clears throat> Let me see if I can explain this here at the end that will show you why when you lose weight without exercising, how it is going to screw up your life. If you lose weight, if you try something, anything, to lose weight that doesn't require you to build muscle in the process, you're screwed. Now imagine for one minute that, let's say this girl that we're showing here, that she had just lost 20 pounds. And be like, okay, great, great job, you've lost 20 pounds. Now imagine if she would go and buy herself a weight jacket, one of these jackets that you can wear that you can put the weight, weight plates in, that was 20 pounds heavier. And she started wearing that weight jacket all around. She would continue to lose weight, wouldn't she? Well, of course she would. Because why? Because now everything that she does requires her to carry that extra 20 pounds around. And she will, by definition, then burn more calories. So the only answer her body will have is to build more muscle. <clears throat> Guess what happens? See, wearing that weight thing around, she would actually continue to burn fat, but she would gain weight in muscle. Now, guess what would happen if she then decided, okay, I'm going to take the weight vest off. Well, the first few days, she would feel fantastic. She'd feel like she was light on her feet and could just do about anything, but the body would then readapt. And say, wait a minute, well, okay, all of a sudden this 20 pounds is gone. I don't need this muscle anymore. It would then begin to metabolize the muscle until she did something to tax those muscles and strain those muscles and make her get bigger and stronger. She'd go back. She'd actually go backwards and look worse. Now, it wouldn't change the size of the clothing that she was wearing. But it would change how it fits. It wouldn't change the size of the clothing, but it would change how it fits. Because this guy, who is six foot two, 235 pounds, the clothing in his closet, in no way, shape, or form, likely resembles the clothing in the closet of Schwarzenegger even though they're the exact same height and the exact same weight, they are put together entirely differently. There's no way this guy's shirts would fit Schwarzenegger because of the size of his shoulders, the size of his neck. In fact, this guy wouldn't be able to fit. This guy's pants would be too big and his shirts would be too small for Schwarzenegger. Let me say it again. His pants would be too big because his waist is bigger, but his shirts would be too small because his shoulders and neck are smaller. Even though they're the exact same height and the exact same weight. And this is, this is a trap that a lot of... Um, as many men as fall into it, a lot of women fall into this trap. They go <clears throat> see the stats of some influencer, some health influencer on Instagram that shows height and weight, and then they aim for that height and weight, and then they get there and they look at themselves in the mirror, and they go look at the influencer in the mirror and go, what the hell's wrong? And they get all dejected and depressed and just give up. It's all about how you're put together, but this thing doesn't do that. It doesn't allow your body to build the muscle that's necessary to burn the fat, to change the shape, to get you to what you want to look like. So this is going to be, you're going to look better and you're, you're going to wear smaller clothes 
for sure. You're going to wear smaller clothes, but long term, even their own studies say that once you start this, you have to be on it for the rest of your life. Even their own studies say that once you're on this, to maintain the weight off, you have to stay on it for the rest of your life. Now, imagine, if you will, just for a moment, that they had come out and said, you have to take an injection once a month, every day, for the rest of your life. <clears throat> Pardon me. Let me say that again. You have to take an injection once a month for the rest of your life. Not every day. Once a month. Imagine if it was every day. Imagine if it was every two weeks. In order to keep your job. In order to keep your health. Would there be protests? Would there be protests? Yes, there would. But are there? No. Are there protests? No. Why? Battlefield of the mind. People don't see it in the same context, and they should be more afraid of it than they were the vax. So, I will leave it there. God bless. Thank you guys so much for your support. I very, very much appreciate it. Would love to have more of you over there. We're going to be putting up a new video here pretty soon. Almost done with it. It's super controversial. I have had to dance around a few things, but we're going to get right to it. And it has to do with what's going on down here in Florida and people that are leaving and people that are coming down here and how it's going to be the home of the insurrection. So I'll leave it there. God bless. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.